and defend our relationship at any cost. Now, let me tell you something. Yes, now, sorry. I used to f with him. Okay. Yeah, I okay. used to f with him, and I'm still f okay. with him. Hey, what's up, world? It's your girl, Brittany, and I'm here today with the funniest girl on the internet, the Cardi B. What's up, girl? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty tired. They working you hard out here. Yeah, they working me hard. Working hard for the money. Sure, Is this harder than stripping? Um, it really depends. It really, really depends. Like, you know, to me, it's hard to wake up early in the morning, but it, re it really is hard to shake your ass with six inch heels and getting slapped on your ass real hard from random ass men. So, you know what? You can't really compare to both. True. Uh, okay, so this season of Love and Hip Hop, mm -hmm. to be honest, I'm surprised that you're not as turned up. Like, a lot of people, I think, were expecting you to come through and, like, really wreck shop. But, I mean, besides your one little incident with, with her name, Yarma, mm -hmm. you've been pretty, like, you've been tame. Um, I mean, like, if I have, like, if it was, like, beef that I have on the streets and it was, like, with my friends friends with my real friends friends you will see the turn up turn up turn up right now you see my personality mm -hmm. but you're not seeing like the turn up like the me like the me yeah so who was cardi b though like before the instagram videos like you're from the bronx but like what, what was your life like i guess growing up um you know my life was um it was a regular life. Like I have real good parents. They poor. They have regular poor jobs and whatever the crap and whatnot. And they're real good people and everything. I was just raised in a in a bad society and like it's like I I, I like I like what I see. I, I like that. Like I wanted to be that and everything. And you know, um, I always wanted to be something that was gonna make me. Have money, have money, have money, have money. I, I, all I know is what my teachers told me, like to do, like, oh, you be a teacher, if you be a this, if you be a that. So I went to college and whatever, but I got kicked out when I was 18 because my mama, my mama couldn't stand me. You know, them Trinity people be like, get out. <laughs> it's two days for your birthday, leave. <laughs> leave, leave now, leave, 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 leave. And, um, I was forced practically to move with um, my ex-boyfriend, my first boyfriend actually. And you know what? Every girl I think always want to move with their boyfriend and everything, right? Everybody wants to move with their boyfriend until you living with them, especially if you living with their mama, their two pit bulls and their sisters and whatever, and they start stealing your little shmoney and you can't eat and then you start getting beat like, oh damn, you just let me in my feet like that. You, you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he was like, this ain't what I signed up for. This ain't what I signed up for. And um, I was working in a supermarket called Amish Market for six months. I was going to college, then I stopped because I, I couldn't I couldn't balance both. Like, you know, my, my job was in the day, school was in the day. It was just, I quit school. I got fired from my job and they told me like to work across the street from Amish Market in New York Dolls, be a stripper. And it's like, all right, and it's so crazy that the first day that I worked there, I made 300, like, I made like like a little $300, and it's just like, wow, in the daytime I made $300, I make this in one week, and I don't even ever see $300, like, you will never see your whole paycheck. That yeah. is so crazy. New York be taxing, taxing heavy. And, you know, at the beginning, I feel like every dancer at the beginning, they have their goal. Like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to strip and make this, this amount of money and then get out the game. But little by little, you start getting influence. Like, there could be a dancer. She got these $900 shoes that, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's how I have to be. And then you just start wasting your money on little corny things. You start dating guys that, like, they could be broke. And they be like, oh, let me get, let me get $2,000 to re-up and you never see your money and all that bullshit. And my goal as a dancer was always like, yo, I need to buy a house, flip it, like rent room, rent, um, the apartment out. That was always my goal. Like, just, just do something with the money. Like, and out of nowhere, I just. I just got popping off IG just by being myself and I could 
now it's just life just changed completely. The rest is fucking history. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, describe to me the first time that you like stepped out on stage at the strip club. Like, were you scared? Yes, I was scared and um, I felt a little ashamed. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm like degrading my mom, I'm degrading my dad. This is so crazy. Like, I'm showing my whole body and then everybody's looking at you. And I just felt like, for, for like two, three months, I just felt so out of it. But it's like, oh damn, I cannot stop. The shmoney is good. <laughs> the shmoney is good. Uh, okay, so let's talk about you and self. What is up with y'all? Like, are, are y'all really fucking with each other or? Currently not. Uh-huh. But, um, that shmoney, like, we have the same manager and it's just like, even sometimes I can't stand him, I gotta cooperate because it's like we washing each other's hands and we have to do a lot of events together. Mm -hmm. We're always in the same club, we're always in the same whatever. It's just like, hmm. Like, eh. mm -hmm. Wait, so you've had sex with self? Clearly. Okay. <laughs> is his pipe game proper or is it kind of. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> is Cardi B speechless? I mean, I don't really, I don't even, I don't really like, um, when I talk about like sexual relations, mm -hmm. I don't really like talking about with who it was and with who I did it with. Like, I don't really feel like exposing anybody. Like, you don't it is what it is. Girl. Like, if you want to like know about a sex thing, then why don't you fuck them? <laughs> Sometimes you need a warning because you like, you go out and you're like, yo, so-and-so is. Nah, but bitches be lying. Trash. Bitches be lying though. Like, oh, this dick is black. Like she might just tell you that so you won't fuck him. True. And or some bitches be good like, oh yeah, his dick is popping, and they want you to fuck him because he probably got an STD and she she wants you to die. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. You know some real vindictive bitches that, <laughs> <laughs> that want you to get an STD and then die. Damn, that's heavy. <laughs> um, okay, wait. So give me some advice to ladies. For keeping their man like on their heels, like what are some keys to success to like making your man like worship you? Um, really is be yourself. Like really, 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 really be yourself. I dated a lot of guys that dated bad bitches, and they they be like, yo, these bad bitches they cannot make me laugh. They cannot feel. I I don't feel comfortable. Like I can't be myself around them. That's one thing. And another thing is like um, suck their dick and lick their balls. <laughs> For how long though? Every night? Morning? Um, everybody depends though. Like not every goddamn night. Like fuck you mean. My jaw my jaw gotta recover like gotta recuperate and whatever. Like fuck you mean. Just do it the best. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you fuck them, suck them, and feed them. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like why do I gotta feed you? Like like you should feed me. Like I just finished sucking your dick. Like I did all the hard work. You should feed me. <laughs> Can you cook? Yes, I could cook. Okay, so you But I hate cooking. Okay. I hate it. I hate the process. Like, yeah. I hate the process, but I love how my food be turned out. Like, damn, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, can you tell me a, a funny story about, like, a crazy moment between, like, strippers? Because, like, when I was younger, the first kind of glimpse that I got into the strip club was Players Club, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, like, Diamond came through and she was, like, the baddest bitch and all of the strippers was hating. Is it like that in real life? Yes. They really be hating. Really be hating. Like, really be hating. Like, all the crazy. All the crazy. Like, it's, it's a real cutthroat game. You just gotta, like, not be pussy. How do you like watch your back though? Do they like steal your your outfits? Like you come in, you like oh, I'll be right back, and then next thing you know your outfits. Yeah, and you and you want to know? Uh, once I worked in this strip club when I first started working in urban clubs, like they stole my whole outfit, and then there was this dancer that she lent me her dress to go home, and I was like, wow, like you the best, and it's crazy, like um. It's crazy, like uh, I, after that, I had a customer and I put her on, and we made money. And it's just like you see, that's the type of thing. But we should be cutting throw all the time. So there's no like real friendships in the strip club. Um, 
Not really. Like, you really have to study a person. Like, even when you work with a girl, it's really popular to work with a girl. It's really convenient in New York to work with a girl. Like, don't be too close. Don't take a bitch to your house. And make sure that, like, yeah, you always looking at her because you y'all both have the same money bag. She might go to the bag and put some in her bag. Like, you just got to keep your eyes open and don't get too close. Mm -hmm. Um, did you ever do like stripper parties, like going to people's house, like house? Yes, calls? and I hate that shit. Uh -huh. I I did it once, and I would never do it again. That is really scary. Like I really suggest girls like not to do that. Like seriously, like I, I I'm not about that life. Like really, I'm not. Mm -hmm. What happened though? Like what, what? Why was it scary? Like where, was the neighborhood bad? It was it was just crazy. Like the guys were going out of hand. Like they was really grabbing us real tight. And like there was a lot of money, but I didn't feel safe. Like it's it's a house full of like thirty niggas, and it's like okay, I got this one big brolic nigga with me. But how about these? But these niggas, we in the house. They got burners or anything, yeah. and anything. And I just didn't, I didn't feel safe. And then after that, as we was leaving, there was, there was like niggas started like clapping and all that bullshit. Like I was. Like, like, nah, hell nah, I can't. I, that shit. I do not suggest bitches to do that shit. Like. Don't. That don't do it. Listen, don't children. do it. Hey there, y'all. It's your girl Cardi B. Tune in to Global Grind and see all the juicy spicy stuff. Oh, and make sure you tune in for Love Hip Hop.